Virginia here coming at you from the Newman Center being a summer SCM for a little bit longer in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic. So I hope you are all doing well despite these um, unforeseen and, uh, and undesirable circumstances. So I'm praying for you, praying that you're doing well um, despite this pandemic. And the thing I'm here to talk about today, it's time to talk about the virtue of temperance. And why is it time to talk about the virtue of temperance? Because temperance is a virtue associated with time, with moderation. Um, and specifically, it's associated with the moderation of desires. Um, and so in discerning if I'm acting temperately, um, it is me discerning um, and noticing first that there are goods, lots of goods in creation. And, um, and am I using these goods proportionately to what they are made for? Am I using them um, for the sake of a greater good, or am I using them um, and using them too much um, in a way that's overindulgent? So temperance is moderating our desires for things um, that are both good and bad. So regulating or stopping of the desire for something bad and regulating your desire for something good so as not to overindulge in something good and therefore turn it into something bad. And um, during this time of the pandemic, we may already feel that we have to control our desires for a lot of things that are good, like time in community, time with friends, time with family, um, because of unfortunate circumstances for the sake of the common good. So um, if part of you are, are in those desires for these good things are is already an exercise in temperance because you have no choice but to stay in social isolation, stay in quarantine, and, um, and su not suppress, but acknowledge and um, cope with the desire to maybe socialize and be in in contact with people um, and that is beyond a virtual or um, a distant socializing form. And um, I think when it comes to discerning if you're acting, if one is acting um, with temperance, good questions I find to ask is when I want something and desire it, do I want what I want when I want it? And thus, am I impatient? And um, simply just try to get what I want because I can get it? Or am I doing something because I know it's good, um, it's gonna help me do something better, and this good will not be manipulated into something bad or an overindulgence in it. And so when I think, like the example of having coffee, the fourth coffee of the day, maybe it might help me be a little bit more productive, but in the long run, it might ruin my sleep, increase a dependency, stain my teeth, and so it might seem like a, just a good desire to have a fourth cup of coffee in the middle of the day to help me um, do schoolwork better, but in the long run, it's actually not gonna um, foster greater goods. It's going to be more detrimental in the long run, even if it seems like a good in itself. So controlling that desire for a fourth cup of coffee is difficult in the moment, but it ends up being better in the long run. And um, so that's one example of how I often have to consider temperance. And another way of, I think, looking at temperance when it comes to desiring greater things like vocational clarity or um, working towards something good that is in the future, like like when the quarantine ends, God willing, um, and things that involve a lot of patience in the long term. I realize um, one way I can grow in my desire for things to happen soon um, is to constantly pray for God's way, God's will, and God's time. So to combat the desire of, I want what I want when I want it with surrendering to God's way, God's will, and God's time, and just to grow in greater patience. Um, and so I think um, when St. Ambrose, one of my favorite saints, when he talks about temperance, he says, what we observe and seek most in temperance is the safeguarding of what is honorable and the regard for what is beautiful. And um, similar to what the catechism says, temperance involves looking at what is good and maintaining its goodness by not corrupting it, by not um, manipulating it to meet our desires and to maintain what is good. And so how do, I guess, with the time we have, whether it's in quarantine now or in the future, um, when the world kind of resumes going back to normal, how do we maintain temperance in a daily way, in a practical way? How do we find the beautiful um, with the time we are given? And I think one of the the first ways is to just kind of have time allocated in the day for things that are beautiful. And one of my favorite things to do is the examine prayer. 
at the end of every day because it's a time set apart to examine the time spent during the day. And it's a way to see um, God's glory in the little things, God's beauty throughout the day, um, and shortcomings that did not safeguard God, God's beauty and God's goodness throughout the day. And so it's a time allocated to see if time was spent well. It's a time allocated to see when God was breaking into my time. Um, and it's a time to see how I can not just um, try to safeguard my own time, but offer my time to God so he can maximize the, um, the time I have, um, the gifts I have, the failures I have into something that becomes even more beautiful, something that becomes good and useful and virtuous for not only myself and other people. So um, allocating time to reflect on time through something prayerful like the exam and prayer or journaling um, is I think one of the, the best ways to grow in temperance, setting aside, to, aside a time to pray about how I spent my time. And a second thing is not to become a slave to a schedule, but to work on then allocating time. If I'm going to reflect on how I've spent my time, hopefully that will then create um, a desire to want to use my time well. Um, and whether that means having every hour of the day planned or knowing that I want to spend an hour today reading a good book. I want to spend an hour today praying. I want to spend 15 minutes exercising and I want to spend two hours um, socializing in whatever means I can do in, in these times. And so I, knowing I need these, I would hope to get these things done and I hope um, to allocate the appropriate amount of time for everything, um, then fills my day with things that are, are good. A good a, a time. It's um, planning to spend time well. And so it takes a little bit of um, advance um, preparation, but it then helps um, helps beauty become more manifest in those times that will come. And so it also helps build habits to schedule in these times. And and I think that, it, not that, or you, so you can plan every moment, every hour of the day, or knowing that you have a concept of, or an idea of the things you wanna do, how much time it will take, and then you disperse it throughout the day based on, um, on availability, based on what you're able to do. Um, it's a way of bearing you know, good fruit in the current moment, um, in the present moment, but also it's bearing fruit with patient endurance for times to come, whether while you're waiting for maybe some of those big things to happen, um, those things like lifting quarantine or vocational discernment or clarity in um, or waiting for a job at, um, or um, approval or acceptance for an application. So doing things in the daily and allocating time spent well in the daily while waiting for bigger things to occur, I think is one of the... Um, the most beautiful ways God uses the present moment and uses them well in cooperation with our will and our desires in order to safeguard that beauty in the world. And so um, another thing with temperance is that it just, um, it takes time to um, acquire skills on how to use time well, especially when so many external forces regulate our time. So um, for me as a student, having allocated hours during class and then when those um, external schedules and routines are taken away, I realize I have to work even harder to maintain my own structure and the desire for sleeping in more or watching um, a YouTube video or maybe spending more time in prayer or reading uh, just a fiction novel, which are good things, but using those things as maybe distractions from things of what I should be doing, like my summer school course or maybe socializing with my housemates that I've maybe spent um, or withdrawn from. And so it's not just about using goods, but using goods as you should, when you should, and not as distractions from other goods, but um, as, as means to help you do what you are called to do in the moment. And so I hope and I pray that um, in this time of quarantine, it can still be a time um, to discern, um, you know, how to use time well. It seems like maybe we're given more time than what we usually have to do things. And so that um, in prayer and planning and discernment and patience that we may continue to um, grow in goodness in God's glory despite any um, challenges we might face through. Um, thinking about what is important, what's necessary, and what is good for me to do now, especially in the fruits it will bear in the future. So if you have any ideas on how to increase in temperance, you know, feel free to 
let me know. It's one of my favorite virtues because it's the one I suck at the most. So I'm constantly reflecting on it. So I hope this wasn't a waste of your time um, and there was maybe something useful in it for you. But um, yep, you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers, and may your time be spent well. God bless.